Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of The Finishing Blow. Um, it's hot out here already. First off, let me just say that my internet's down as of right now, so I have no idea when this video is going to get posted. I got uh, so many things to do. But um, hopefully you guys this week has been good. Mine has been pretty good, actually. I got a car, so yes. Um, I'll tell you about that here in a little bit. But since my internet's down, usually I try to double check the articles that I wrote, like what day was what. I couldn't do that. So I know what I wrote, but the order might be wrong on this for this week. But uh, yeah, it's hot. You'll probably get to watch me sweat in high definition because uh, it's awful. But yeah, everybody on Facebook yesterday was just complaining about how hot it was. That's annoying. I'm kidding, guys. But seriously, it's like every time you look, it's like it's 102. I'm like, okay, I get it. So I decided to go outside. All right, so should we talk about what's going on on the website? Let's do it. Um, first off, I did a leaked trailer for uh, Man with the Iron Fist with the RZA. And I think that's the first time I've ever done like a leaked anything. But I, I was really curious about, sorry, I'm like lifting the camera way up. Um, I was really curious about how it was gonna be. And I knew that a lot of you guys wanted to know too. So I decided to go ahead and post it. And I don't know, like I've been watching other people's reactions. And I guess I should have known that I was gonna be the one that's gonna be kind of not on the bandwagon. Cause everybody's like, oh, it looks so awesome. It's the RZA and you know, like I don't, I, I have a bias towards RZA, don't get me wrong. And the bar for what I thought the movie was gonna be was way lower than that. So it, it made it to decent on my like radar. I just don't think it looks that good. And I'm not saying that because, like I said, I'm not saying it because it's the RZA involved. Like Batista turning into the giant gold statue doesn't really, look that awesome to me plus like Lucy Liu and her clan is just a bunch of chicks that run around and sleep around all the time apparently which it's a martial arts movie and uh, I don't really feel like seeing that um, I don't know just some of the parts where uh, if you guys ha well hopefully you have seen it because I reposted the trailer later but uh, the slow-mo kill where the guys are like in the air and like the blood's like curved I guess that's cool but it didn't look I mean it's artistic and stylish, but not really that interesting. Um, I don't know, I just don't feel like it's gonna be that good. And, you know, everybody's like, oh, it's gonna be amazing, I can't wait to see more. You know, the Riz is doing fantastic. I don't know, I really don't. I feel like it's gonna be, eh. Um, a lot of people are either gonna be disappointed or they're going to cover up their disappointment by saying that they really liked it. But, um, I'll let you know how it is, um, regardless of what everybody else says, like Haywire, I still, I don't get that at all, I don't understand why people like it, but um, yeah, so I'll give you my two cents on it, but as for the trailer, it's interesting, but it's not really enough to make me go, oh wow, the RZA has redeemed himself. Now on the flip side, let me just segue straight into the next uh, topic, Keanu Reeves, Man of Tai Chi, did you see that? Holy crap, that is how you redeem yourself because I was like slightly iffy about Keanu about how he was gonna do Man of Tai Chi and I saw that like concept footage it looks amazing like the camera that they're using and how it moves around and records fight choreography insane like I don't know what else to say like I really am excited for that um, I want to see what they do with it how they in like incorporate the choreography with that given that freedom of motion um, I just think it's going to be awesome. Um, I've got some more respect for Keanu, that's that's for sure. But if you guys haven't seen that yet, check it out. It's this ridiculous camera that's on like a crane that pretty much can just move wherever it needs to go to get the best uh, shot for the action. It looks awesome. So like I said, I mean that I've got a whole new respect for. So it'll be interesting to see how Canada does, and it'll be also interesting to see how the RZA does. Let me go back to the RZA real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna rant. Let's just let it all out. Um, the music in there is not that good, and I'm not saying that. Like, I'm not stereotyping. I do listen to rap music. My brother is a rapper. Thinks is a rapper. Something about rapping. Watch him watch this video. Um, no, but so I don't have anything against it. But I just feel like the RZA's rap, like his lyrics, are very simple and uh 
just listen to it in the trailer and you'll, you'll get what I'm saying. Like, I don't know about that guy, the RZA. One day I'm going to meet him and he's going to punch me in my eye and my eye's going to fly out. That's a trailer reference. Uh, it's like pff, one of the only times you see the RZA in a movie that stars the RZA. Anyways, alright, I'm done venting about the RZA. I don't have to talk about him later in the week. Because I wrote about him twice. <sighs> Why'd I do that? Okay. What was after that? So after the RZA and Keanu, this is where I get confused. Because I think I wrote about uh, the four and uh, Wu-Dang. Uploaded the video, or the pictures for that. Which, again, they're just a lot of pictures. I don't know why. Um, it's really, I do not choose to just upload Crystal Liu. But a lot of the pictures that come out are of her. So I'm just going with what the press releases. Um, but yeah, it's just a bunch of pictures. Um, Wu Dang, I still, I don't know about that movie. But they both come out here pretty soon. So I'm interested to see how it does. Um, but yeah, it's just an article of just images. Scroll down, look at Crystal, and uh, be happy. Okay, after that, there was this interesting little, I don't know, I guess article that I found, but I've got a couple um, pages that I look at that are based in the UK, and you guys may know of uh, Vampire Warriors. It came out, what, a couple years ago? I think it's Dennis Law, right, directed it. Um, same guy that did Bad Blood and uh, Fatal Move, I think. Okay, now I'm stretching it too far. I'm not too sure. Anyways, so he released a movie called Vampire Warriors a couple years back, and apparently they're releasing it in the UK now, titled as Lesbian Vampire Warriors. Now, I haven't seen Vampire Warriors, but I'm really sure that that's not what it's about, and I feel like it's this cheap method of getting people to buy it, um, which I think is just wrong, let's be honest. I don't think it's that good of an idea, but... um. Anyways, I had to I had to bring it up and just show my confusion about that. Now, it's not out in the States. I don't know what it's going to be called when it comes out in the States. And I really wanted to review it for this week, but I'm still kind of running around with the car stuff. Like, I got the oil changed and had to go to the insurance company and get them to cover it and all that stuff. So, I didn't have time to watch it. I had to watch an American film because um, I put it on my PSP. So, hence why I reviewed my review for the week. But uh, I'm going to try and watch... Vampire Warriors, but I'm pretty sure there's no lesbian themes in it. But apparently that proves Sean's theory uh, from last week, saying that I should have tagged boobs in the video to get more hits. Apparently these people think that uh, adding lesbian increases sales. So good job, Sean. So make up the same thought process as you and watch them be successful. Ugh. Anyways, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just look in the comments for last week and Sean. Uh, made fun of me. My fault. No, I'm kidding. It's his fault. It's totally his fault. Don't ever try to make fun of Sean because he's a martial artist and he will counter and attack. I think verbally and physically he will do that. I don't know if he's going to watch this video or not, but every time I record a video now, I feel like he's going to say something about it, which he might. Ugh. Anyways, what happens to the days when I look forward to Sean talking to me? I'm kidding, Sean, if you're watching this. Probably not. Okay, anyways, what was I talking about before I completely went off track? Okay, so, lesbians, um, probably shouldn't say that too loud out here. Watch just a crowd come out because I say the word lesbians. Um, Alright, so after that, back to the RZA. Woo! Poster came out and the official like Red Band trailer, like the one that didn't get pulled down, um, came out. The tagline is kind of clever for the poster. It says they put the uh, F.U. in Kung Fu which is clever um it's kind of weird how i don't think anybody's thought of that before you know i mean it's right there but um i don't know i've already talked about the trailer to a great extent and i'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me rant about the rizzo which i mean i don't i don't know I'm, I'm very biased against him and i wish there was a way that he could redeem himself i didn't think so badly of him but he's just so up there like i have it ingrained like to not like the rizzo Ugh. That'll be a story for another day. Okay, so, poster, trailer, the RZA. Check it out if you didn't get to see it on Monday. Plus it's clearer, so that's a lot better. Um, it's getting really hot. Whew. That's why I didn't put the stuff in my hair, if you're wondering. I still do it, it's just, I knew I was gonna be sweating all over the place. Cause I'm out of shape. And it's like, 
who knows how many degrees outside. Um, all right, so the review. Let's talk about the review real quick, and then I'll tell you about some of the car stuff if you guys want to know. Um, okay, so I reviewed Dragon Eyes with Kung Lee and Jean Claude Van Damme, and uh, it's still, as far as I know, it's only like it's not available for purchase yet. I thought it was going to be out already, but I just got tired of waiting, so I went ahead and did a review for it. Um, check it out. <clears throat> you'll uh, you'll see what I thought about it. It's <laughs> it's special, but uh, again. I'll let you know exactly what I think about a movie. Um, if I meet Kung Lee, he may punch my face off. All right, but yeah, read that, check it out, let me know what you think. I had to post it later in the day. <clears throat> um, yeah, let me tell you about that real quick because it kind of segues into everything. So Thursday, when I did the Rizzo one, um, it was later at night because my internet was down, like today. Um, but it finally came back up and uh, the internet actually was up when I came home to cash my check to get the car and then when I came back after I purchased the car nothing the internet did not work so finally got it working again got that uploaded um, then on Friday I had to get up early and uh, get the oil change like I said go to the insurance companies and things like that so I didn't have time to a, even watch a movie to review or be write a review for it which is why it was later in the day but to make up for it hopefully you guys saw on my Facebook page there's a new uh, Kenshin trailer, and I also posted a clip of The Expendables, which they do a good job with the humor. I gotta admit, it's very clever. But uh, so check those out on the Facebook page if you haven't seen it yet. I know a lot of you guys have liked the Facebook page, and I, uh, I really appreciate it. It's so awesome. I got 100 likes, and I about just cried with happiness because that's how uh, self-conscious I am. But yeah, 100 likes, and I'm like, yes! I don't know what I would do if it went any higher than that. But anyway, so yeah, check out the Facebook page if you haven't seen those yet. I may or may not write about them, uh, just because I might write about the Kenshin one, but we'll see. Um, I try not to write too much about the stuff I post on Facebook, too, because then you guys have already seen it. You're just missing my two cents on it. So uh, anyways, you guys want to hear about the car story? All right. So I bought a Mitsubishi Mirage. Man, first off, that car, I don't think actually runs on gas, period, because I filled it up. And gas right now is 313 a gallon, I think. It went from empty to full in $27. Like on my way home, I was like, oh, I better fill it up. And it just stops at 27. I about cried right then and there at the gas station. But um, yeah, the people that I bought the car from are super nice. It was like a dealer. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know. I was slightly threatened by the fact that they had a bunch of Confederate flags everywhere. But it was a dealership. They were cool. And, um, uh, so I don't know if I should go into the story or not, but I don't think I'm ever going to tell them that I have this website. Eh, let's do it. Let's just, whatever. If they find out, they will blow up my car. Um, okay, so when I first went there to buy the car, this guy, um, I don't know how old he was. I'm terrible at guessing ages. Had this shirt on that says, currently looking for a Japanese girlfriend in Japanese. So that's kind of flag of redness for me um, being half Japanese not that I'm a girl just by the fact that uh, he had that shirt on and anyways so we were talking and uh, long story short like I could only pay a certain amount because the insurance check hadn't come in yet so I just paid him what I needed to and then I went on my merry way and a couple days later I came back to pay the rest of it and it was this different guy and um, paying the money and he uh, needs my driver's license and um, I would show you my driver's license but you guys might steal my numbers but I look super Asian in my driver's license like more Asian than this I don't know how they did it I think it's like some state-of-the-art technology where they increase your ethnicity by like 4,000 um, but yeah so I joked about it and they're like oh yeah are you like are you Japanese and I'm like yeah I'm half and the next thing I know that unleashed like probably the worst possible scenario ever because the guy's like oh my brother it's like really into you know anime and uh, Japanese culture and next thing I know they're just talking to me about stuff um, which I mean I get it. I'm not against anime at all like if you guys watch it because um, I did I watched it in high school and now I really don't because I don't know what's good and what's bad anymore 
but there's people that are like really into the culture and really scare me um you guys know who i'm talking about not who but like the type of people that i'm talking about um and i don't know if that this i mean this guy may be totally cool and totally nice but uh yeah they were just like oh because um what something came up and i told them that i had like comic books at home from like high school that i bought and next thing i know they want me to like sell them to him and um no i mean i don't read them but i still do enjoy having them but uh i don't know like i said i shouldn't say this kind of stuff they don't know i run this website so pff, we're good um but yeah so weird that this place with confederate flags everywhere it's somebody said it's not like that anymore but i don't understand why else you'd have confederate flags everywhere i mean besides it's the south but isn't that what the south was about i don't want to go into politics all right so anyways i just thought it was funny and ironic that there's a guy that's really into japanese anime that works at a dealership a nice dealership <laughs> but uh that had flags everywhere but anyways um i'll let you guys go that's all i need to really ramble about but i do have a car things should settle down a little bit by the next week as long as i get the stupid internet going i'll be fine so um yeah that's it so hope you guys had a good week um i guess i'll see you guys next week thank you so much for stopping by this is k miller and this week has been finished